time for a big step, making the grout. We're gonna grout the shower today. As you put it on at 45 degrees, you scrape it off at 90. So it's only going into the... We didn't watch a grouting video before doing this. I hope you do this right. So this is way thicker than any grout I've ever mixed up before. I guess we're going to see how it goes. We followed the package directions, so this is supposed to be right. Oh my gosh, this is hard work. This grout is too thick. I can't even dig it out of the bucket. Can you do it? Try it. Feel how hard it is to dig into that bucket. Oh man, I just pulled the tile off right here. Oh, that's, Wait, that's not one tile. Thing. What is this? That's tape. What? There's a. You saw <gasps> a fish. You killed a fish. It's right here. Okay, we saved the fishy. We just can't really grout around it right now. We have to kind of go around that area until the glue dries. This is really hard to do with this stiff grout. I think we need to make it thinner next time. Oh, I'm not having any problem. How's it look? Looks beautiful. Is it? Yeah. I don't think this is all filled in completely. We're going to have to be really careful about this area. It looks like it's working. We're just going to have to be really diligent as we continue on to make sure we're really getting all those gaps filled. And I think a slightly wetter um, grout. grout will allow for that. Not too wet, but just not as dry as it was. Mike is back from town now with two more boxes of grout and a new tool. That's right. Do we even know what this one is called? This is actually a grouting float. Float. But we mixed up our grout a lot better this time. It's a much better consistency yeah. to get into all these grooves. I'm glad you taped off up there. Yeah, That's going to make cleanup much easier. Did you press down the tape all the way or else the grout is just going to squish up into it? Okay. This right here. Thank you, because I totally forgot where the other spot was. <laughs> One box of grout does about... Oh, God eight or nine square feet maybe in this environment it doesn't go very far yeah because my gaps are pretty wide compared yeah. to most other tile projects but the the grout box did say for one eighth to one half inch oh yeah what do they call them gap gap or whatever yeah yeah so we're good we're good to go this is definitely more work than i thought it was going to be Heck yeah, it's a lot of work. I think we might have to break, take a break after this. A lot of times I see where there's like pinholes in the grout and then going over it with the sponge, the sponge like fills them in. It's so awesome. Nice. Yeah, I've seen that a few times when I was sponging too. Yeah, the sponge just kind of moves the grout around a little bit more after you thought it couldn't be moved. Oh my God, more plastic. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> you just never know when you're going to find another piece. We're going to have to patch that hole and that hole on our next grouting. Seems to be no big deal though to go back in and patch them. It doesn't. 
Okay, so I'm just rubbing off that little film that's left over after grouting with um, a piece of old t-shirt. And you can really see the colors come out. Are you filming right here mm -hmm. where I'm rubbing this? It looks so awesome. It's like this huge reveal as you're rubbing all that film off. It is cool. I get the Tortuga. I can't yeah, wait get to his see little him. face. Oh, and the little fishies look so cute when they come yeah, to life. Yeah, they do. Oh, look at that. That was crazy. Right? Put that next one. Right here? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. They just become yeah, all vivid. Yeah, pops out. Whew, getting tired. I'm pooped. It looks that's a lot of work, man. I know. I've just got to keep going. It's a new day. And I have new glasses. <laughs> and <laughs> we're back at work in the shower. Mike's doing part A of the grouting and I do part B next. Yes. Hers is a lot harder than mine. He Mine's is like physical. Hers is yeah. detail work. Yeah, he gets the grout on for me because to be my big strong man. That's right. But we have almost well, mostly three walls done. This wall is completely done. And the sunrise wall is completely done. The hot air balloon wall is mostly done. There's just a few places where we were, we ran out of grout. Yeah. And he's doing the coral reef right now. Oh my gosh, you can't see any of the picture at the moment. <laughs> you can't. You know what, I was supposed to head out here and rub the film off with a t-shirt before doing the next grouting. And we were supposed to wait 10 minutes before doing this. Oops. I thought it'd be easier to do the top and it's messier. <laughs> Just squishing off everywhere. Yep. I don't know, honey. I'm starting to think grouting is your niche. <laughs> oh my God. Of the jo on the joke scale, that was the worst one we've ever done. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh my God. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> so bad. I'm the queen of the bad ones. That was the pun from hell. <laughs> Did the devil approve that? <laughs> I think you're up. All right. I'm gonna go wash this out now. The last but wait, no, I, I was using some of it. That's oh, okay. why. When All I come right. across holes and gaps and stuff, it's nice to have a bucket to dip into. Get your gloves. All right. Get your cam. This is a pretty wide grout line, so. Scoop it up. Well, we forgot to sponge off a section and then it left like a film right on top of all the tiles so Carrie's gonna have to go back and hand rub all those tiles to get that film off. We learned a valuable lesson today <laughs> like how hard, how hard Carrie has to work if I make mistakes. <laughs> we left it setting up way too long. What you working on? There's just some buildup of grout where where the contact paper had already been peeled up. But look at this. When you peel off the contact paper and see it all fresh, it looks beautiful. It sure does. It really lit up the shower. It was a really good little really good idea to do that. Yeah, I'm glad that, that the stone we found ended up being such a light color. It brightens up the bottom of the shower where it used to be dark and shady in here. Yeah. It's so much bolder than it is behind the tape, even when we first, like before we even got grout all over it. Okay. 
Okay, once we vacuum it, I think we'll be able to see a little bit better. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do this. Mm. Are you grouting the floor? I'm grouting the floor. You've been dying to grout, haven't you, all after watching me all this time? Oh, yeah, I can't. I love grouting. <laughs> I like grout. Granted, this was a big project and that made it difficult, but the process it of grouting really, itself I like. Really difficult. Yeah, really difficult. I don't know why I'm going up on my tiptoes. <laughs> Is it a girl thing? <laughs> Carrie's doing trial time. <laughs> Carrie has taken to grouting the floor as well. <laughs> I know, and I'm way off the drop cloth over here. Darn it. <laughs> now we're going to have haze. Yep, we sure are, and the phosphoric acid will probably melt our vinyl floor. It absolutely will. <laughs> so it must be like that chemical they used in Breaking Bad to dissolve a body, but it didn't dissolve the plastic tub. Is yes. that what we're getting our hands on? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, and we're getting like a quarter of it, so I mean, I don't think we could do a whole body, but maybe a hand. <laughs> maybe the neighbor's dog, <laughs> the one that yaps all night, that's the one I'm talking about. Mm hmm you know who you are over there. It looks super good. Yeah, there's definitely some spots that had already dried on here before that we're going to have to use yeah. that stuff to clean off, but... Doing the best I can. Hi Casey, this is uh, Mike down here in uh, 262 East D Lane. How are you? Okay. She got to put me over to property management. Hi Chandler, this is Mike at 262 East D Lane. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, we're officially putting in our 30 day notice right now. That's correct. All right, very good, thank you. All right, bye. Boy, that was too easy. Holy crap. Are we out of here? 30 days. We're gonna be able to pull this off? No, no we're not. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. <laughs> oh my God, that's scary. Yeah, is that your heart like, pounding? My heart actually, is pounding like, and I wasn't even making the weirdly call. Weirdly scary. Like, was it? After I got off the phone, the gravity of it really like went, did you feel it in Ooh, your stomach? Yeah. I did too. Kind of my stomach kind of dropped a little bit. It was right? like, a, okay, you got stuff to do now. No dawdling. You have a hard date. Hard date! Hard, hard date. date. Every day is going to be a hard day. Oh, hard date. Hard date of moving out. It's here. We're actually doing it. We're out of here. It's pretty exciting though. We're doing it. <laughs> that would be cool, man. Hey, we have a lot of work to do. So much. Are you spraying on the phosphoric acid right now? Yes. Oh my gosh. And there's actually a fumage. So we need to be like not breathing this? No, it's not much. You need to get that back corner good. How high do we need to go on that? I don't know, but how are you going to wipe this all off in two minutes? You don't wipe it off in two minutes. You let it sit for two minutes. Because then we start wiping it. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Some of it's going to sit for a lot more than two that's minutes. Okay. That's okay. It's not going to like feed into our walls and decay them. Well, if it does, we'll just have to regrout, I guess. No, not again. I'm so sick of grouting. But... Echo, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes, starting now. It's not coming off like super rapidly or anything. <laughs> Oh man, it doesn't seem to be coming off at all. Well, there's a haze developing, so I think it is. So we're just going to have to let it sit on there, do its thing. See, that came off. Do you have some kind of a better scrubber? Let me get a scrub, like a Bruce Lee brush, and see if that helps. Okay. It's coming off, but it's coming off slowly. Where's the uh, spray bottle? This stuff, it appears. There's some that's come off quite easily. So I'm seeing it leave the scene on a lot of 
ones that were obviously filmed and then I did this and it came right off especially like these right here you can just see it on them and it just took it right off oh you should probably have gloves on here try this I'll get your hands out of it too you want to rinse your hands off Not go yet. into the kitchen so the only ones not coming off are like the really the ones that were the worst. Yeah, it is coming off. Just slowly. But yeah, we're having to work it off. Let it set, then scrub again, then let yeah. it soak, then let it scrub again. That's what's exactly what's happening. Thanks. You know, it kind of makes sense that it would be coming off those glossy ceramic pieces on the wall a little bit easier than it's coming off this porous stone on the floor. Yeah, for sure. That floor stuff is completely different tile. Well, it's actual tile, whereas all the rest is dishes. Yeah. I think you've made a lot of progress over there, though. For sure. That came right off. Yeah, it's been soaking for a long time now. So it's well, it's dried. Oh, and really? so I've had to go over it, like, again to get it wet again. Oh. Okay, shall we give it a rinse down and see where we're at? Yeah. This is a good amount of water here. Oh yeah, it's nice. These were the places where it was just the worst. It was really yeah. thick pile-ups. It was piled up into the creases from the contact paper and the grout just piled up in those crevices. Yep. Man, I'm so glad you ordered this chemical and I'm so glad you ordered it in time like because it's set on there and you need to do it within 10 days. Yeah. Was Because we're, we're probably pretty much at the end of that 10-day period. Probably. It is. Okay. Well, I don't have any fingerprints left, but I'll tell you what, this stuff looked awesome. Okay. I'm kidding, that's not actually what happened. Look at how great our shower looks. I love our shower so much. How's that magnetic shower head? It just looks good. Away. I mean, you just you kind of have to come down on it. But yeah, I mean, boom, it's on there. So it's kind of nice. nice for just like clean up and stuff. So I love it. Very cool. Okay, you guys, so update on the chemical grout haze cleaner. Um, on the first day we used it, it was getting some of the haze off, but not all of it. And so when Mike went back to work on the second day, I tried it again. I was able to get a little bit more off, but still not all of it at all. And then on the third day when Mike came home, he saw that I had this little bunch of, it's like steel wool, only it's not steel wool. It's like a um, synthetic kind of steel wool substitute, I guess. And he saw that it was sitting there and he said, have you tried scrubbing it um, just dry? So I did and it totally came off. Okay, the chemical had been used on it twice for two days in a row, then allowed to totally dry, and then it came right off quite easily with this, whatever this scrubby stuff is. So I just wanted to give you the update that we pretty much got all of the grout haze off the shower, and it is looking fantastic. We got one more part of the mosaic ready to then set on and then be grouted probably tomorrow. So Mike's getting the pen set on for me. Getting ready for the front piece of the mosaic. Okay, you're up. Hopefully this will turn out to be the fastest grounding job we've ever done. Or thin setting anyway. I mean, uh, tiling job. The right. fastest tiling job we've ever done. Okay. 
Okay, I'm only going to press this in lightly in case I need to shift it as I go. Okay, looks really good. Yay! <laughs> you know, I've just, you know, I've seen it on the floor for so long and it was just kind of okay. But now, like seeing it placed in where it needs to be with everything else, it's actually cool. <laughs> not going to make it all the way to the edge. And it does. Huh. Dang, baby, that looks really good. Does it? Yeah. I really like it. Okay, hopefully this will make sure that every piece is pressed in. Gets mushed on good. I hope. No way you can break that. That's solid two by fours to the ground. <laughs> I remember it now. <laughs> okay, there it is. Nice. That was easy peasy, man. I know. It does seem like we were done in five minutes, doesn't it? Yeah, super fast. Awesome. Man, that's so cool, though. It's really pretty. Really pretty. Your clam looks really good. Oyster. Oyster, right. That's what I meant. <laughs> Oh yeah, peeling off the contact paper is so satisfying. Oops, there's a skinny little piece left on right there. Gotcha. Oh good, my little pearl stayed in just perfectly. And there we have it. We didn't lose a single piece. Okay, one last section to grout on the crazy shower mosaic. I did the front piece. Oh, I guess I, I guess we already showed that from sticking it on with a thin set. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I forget where we're at. You spend too much time behind the, the camera. Well, it's, it's <laughs> actually several days go by sometimes from the last time we worked on a certain project until the next time. Like this project has been happening over the span of several weeks yeah. from the time we first gave our 30 day notice till now we're almost at the end of that. So yeah. like our videos are, are unrealistic in the time that they portray. Yeah, it's sometimes. too hard to capture. Not all, all the time. But sometimes. Order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to do this by hand. Carrie chose to do it the unorthodox way. Carrie never stopped like from playing in the mud. Right? <laughs> Maybe that's why I like grouting so much. It is like playing in the mud. I just broke a piece off. Dang it! I'm just gonna have to skip that little place. Yeah. Come back to it later. Oops, little pocket right there. Alright, looking good. Looking good. It really does finish that nicely. Yeah. Even unwashed, it looks right. Looks yeah, correct. Well, instead of a typical sponging, Carrie did that by hand. I didn't know. Yeah, I just rubbed off all the extra grout and 
it just made each tile perfectly clean as I went. It was actually less messy than sponging. is really beautiful, so far anyway. Oh my gosh, that came out perfect! Sure did. It is flawless, there's like not even anything that I need to fix, like my taping job really paid off. Yeah. So far so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. I love it. I wish I need to just pretty much leave this alone. Yep. It did exactly what we needed it to do so the grout can just come right up to that trim line. Yep. Just fills it in perfectly. It did, yeah, it's really good. This is the final product of Carrie's hard work down there on the floor. It's the last section. It's all grouted and perfect now. It's so good. Uh -huh. We still have one more step in the shower, you guys. We're not done when the grouting's done. We still have to do tile and grout sealer. But it's a super easy step. All you do is spray it on, wait five minutes, wipe it off, and just manageable size walls. So this should finally be the final step. To the, to the shower, the ongoing shower saga. It has been a saga. It has, huh? Let's see, should I move this out of the yeah. way? Mm -hmm. Whoa, is that as good as that sprays out? It's not the best sprayer. You know, I think that um, most people don't show this step because there's nothing exciting to see, but um, it's still important to know that you need to do this step at the end of your grout job. Yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh, my hand is getting tired. Here, let me take over. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing sprays crazy. I know, that's what I was trying to say. Like, the liquid shoots out in different directions and then there's like patches that it misses. Yeah. So you have to just keep squirting until you get it all. You're not kidding, you're handling tired. Right? Okay, we're getting a second coat of sealer on the whole shower right now just to make sure but it's, the, it's all good. Yeah, the, the, this time the, the grout isn't, it's turning gray in the places that needed more sealer. But for the most part, most of the areas I sprayed isn't turning gray anymore. It isn't dark, turning as darker. dark as yeah. it used to. So that's interesting how that worked out. So you can tell that it's actually sealing the stuff. Yeah. Cool. I guess all we have left to do now is the uh, standard sultry shower scene. That's right. <laughs> have you guys noticed how everybody always does that? They stick the woman in the shower and she stands there showering sexily, pretending not to know that her husband or boyfriend is there with the camera the whole time. <laughs> so much truth. <laughs>
Yeah, we definitely need a shower curtain up in this biatch. Yeah, we're just going to have to magnetize one up to the ceiling. Yeah, we're oh, so bad. how business gets done. You gotta look like a biker criminal so that people respect you. And if not, you can just look like another bald guy, I guess. I don't know. I just have to accept my baldness. I flew my drone one day, big bald spot, and I'm like, that's it, shave the head. That's how that worked out, I'm not even joking. Now it's a really big bald spot. Mm-hmm. But now it's like a distinguished ball spot, so. I don't look like Fire Tuck. <laughs> because I totally look like Fire Tuck. <laughs> you did not look like Fire Tuck. Shut up. You, did you see it? It was terrible. Fire Tuck is bald all the way to the front and just has a fringe around above the ears. I'm six inches away from that. Hole <laughs> <laughs> number 63 is the only way to shave right here. Smells like manliness. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm done here. First shower in the books. Woo! I feel good. <laughs> Come on, squeak and clean, listen. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, need a towel to towel this bad bo bad body off. Mm. Bad body. <laughs> It's for real, it's bad. <laughs> Aches all the time, <laughs> fat rolls. Getting old. Bald spot, I'm all stove up. All right. It is a little bit tight in here, but it's totally manageable. It's totally manageable. I think we just need to, definitely gotta do some kind of like. Shower curtain. Shower curtain here, just to prevent the over, over wash. Over spray. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of it on that little shower there, wasn't there? There sure was. We got some mopping up to do. Yep. Ready there, like right now. All right. So, all in all, how would you rate your shower experience? All right. I'm gonna give it a four out of five, only because somebody was filming me. That's weird. A little bit awkward. It was a little awkward there. The second thing was it was a little bit tight in there, but not like overly tight. I think I think once we realized that water was splashing out, I was being like overly cautious, so I wasn't trying i wasn't enjoying the shower anymore as much as i was trying to prevent damage to the bus so right. once we get something yeah we are going to have to put up a small shower curtain yeah over a the, really small the, one over the opening that yeah the step on um, the whole doorway opening entrance entrance, thank entrance you. to the shower <laughs> yeah we just have to something I we'll just and it'll just since we have the original ceiling it ding 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 magnets so it'll be really easy to, it, yeah. it's not going to be an install, it's going to be a... Yeah, no, it's just going to be doing it, the shower curtain and putting the magnets. Yeah, like put up the shower curtain, you know? Yeah. That's just it, so not, not a big deal. Um, the water, that was the really impressive part. Um, I thought, so I remember watching a video on this and they talked about what they set their Gerard water heater to and it was 115. And when I got in there at 100, like, I touched it with my hand. I was like, that's hot. So I turned it down to 110, and it was still hot. And it takes a while to adjust, so it's not like this instant change. But um, once I had it down, what, it was like 105 or 102 or something like that? It was 108 that. at some point. I don't know if you changed it more Whatever it that. is now is what, I, what it would be set at. And it was totally comfortable shower water, but we had lots of room to crank it up to like 120s, 125. It was really impressive. So that part I really liked. That was that was cool, man. That was cool.